Hello folks. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to St. Bernard Acres. The home of the awkward cabin. We're talking power room today. Six-inch overlap on each one. That'd be perfect. Yeah. Let me try to pull this one down. But we'll pick it up and move it. Oh, that <laughs> folded right up, didn't it? Four more inches. I know. <laughs> Wait on this. 
That's what we wanted. Screwed the other one. Oh, we're gonna nail the other one in. Yeah. I got that outside. Right there. Okay. Come down here. All right. Ah, uh, you can see, it is a stunning day today. Back up to 70. Beautiful skies. No wind. I got my drone back and forgot I have to have Wi-Fi to get it all ground bound to the controller and the software, the app, all that kind of stuff. But tomorrow is going to be just like today, and I'll be back out here. Then I'll have all my drone. I'm going to get some footage finally. But let me show you what we've done on the power room because it's almost looking finished. I have those sheets of OSB left over. They're not quite eight feet, but they're close. This is all that's left of the old shed. <laughs> that's pretty much it that uh, I have to go throw away now. We used it all, it's great. I don't know if you can see, but the sun and heat also brought out all the wasps again. So they chased us away. But we've got the walls done now, the outside. The camera ran out of battery. I don't know when. I'll see when I get home. Uh, the roof is done. The paper's on it. I just got to get four sheets of metal roofing. And uh, that'll take care of that. I'll take you around the front. Pass my water barrels. Water burgers. Let me show you what we got here. Looky there. Still trying to find a door. Might have to make one. I got a 30 inch opening there. Just happened to turn out that way. <laughs> uh, so I should be able to find a 28 inch door to put in there. If not, we'll make one. But yeah, that's, sorry for the sun and the camera. Uh, that's it. And right there is the receptacle to send power into the cabin from this room. If you go inside, This is six by seven. The reason it's six by seven, that is gonna get screened. That's gonna get blocking. That's gonna get screened. That's gonna get blocking. So there's all my ventilation right there. Uh, the reason it's six by seven is this old pallet from work. These are two, but pressure treated tuba sixes on this pallet with four by six runners that was free from work that was my, that's my floor so all I had to do was get the material from the old shed and modify it for this but yeah that's all and you see I still got all that OSB left over but it took all of the T111 I had you know, cutting off the bad part. But yeah, it's... I'm going to put some fascia up. You know, make it look nice. And Springs Project, the very first warm in spring, the cabin's getting painted and this is getting painted. So, there's a power room for you. 
the solar panels, you know, everybody talked about those rickety old two befores, you know, the, oh, that thing ain't gonna last six months, blah, 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 blah. Well, two and a half years, it's still up there. I said it was temporary, and it was, or is, because what I'm going to do back here now, can you see where that fence is? It runs back behind these two befores, or saw horses. Two by eights. And I own all the way back to the road. So if I take you out here, let me show you what I'm going to do. This is kind of cleared through here. This is a nice level ground. Um, I'm going to clear out all of this for the backyard of the cabin. And uh, the solar panels are going to go back here. I'm going to run the fence across, still the same, so the dog doesn't, you know, come out here and mess with the solar panels. But I'm going to build the rack right in this area. It'll get all the sun. I'll just have to run it over to the power room, and we're good to go. Um, I was telling Gary, I don't know how big an area this is. But this little bit of area, I'm telling you, these people say you need 10 acres, 20 acres, you know. This is probably, at most, a quarter of an acre. If you counted where I've got the solar panels at right now, back to here, and over to where it's cleared off. And you see what I've got? That power room could be a chicken coop. You got room for solar, you got room for a garden, I've got rain catchment, I've got the cabin. This is self-sustaining. You could have rabbit cages, Gary said, a chicken coop, a garden. You can live here and be self-sustaining on a quarter of an acre. That's what I'm gonna show you guys, how you can do that. So stick around, we're gonna do a quarter acre homestead. That's what this is going to become. Now it's going to become an off-grid homestead. Because I'm going to do the big garden in the back behind the barn. But I'm going to do a, a regular garden up here to show you guys. That this is, you could be totally self-sufficient on a quarter of an acre. Anyway, maybe. <laughs> I hope so. But we're going to get some lunch. We got this finished, as far as we can go with it. I need the metal for the roof and I need a door. And then comes the fun part of moving everything. But that's our power shed for you. Remember to like, share, comment. Let me know what y'all think. I'm out.